Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Julie here with your career reading for November 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. You may have been feeling uh, the effects of Mercury in retrograde. Emails, correspondence in delay or going missing, astray, that sort of thing. Um, maybe even conversations being misconstrued. It's a very frustrating time, but we're coming out of that now. Uh, so, it, uh, well, we got the hangman to start. Uh, so it should feel like a little bit more of a positive time. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Fool card. So I have to say, most readings um, for November for career, the Wheel of Fortune has turned up. So there is a turning point for everybody, it feels. There is a shift uh, to a much more positive time where you know you may have been feeling stuck recently. Um, I'm using the White Witch Tarot to open the reading, and I'm also using the Good Tarot, um, oh wow, uh, to gauge uh, the details of what they'd like to discuss. Now we have the Hierophant, the Five of Water, we have the Four of Water and the Page of Water. You will not believe this, Pisces. <laughs> um, I did a Cancerian reading yesterday, um, and um, I think also Libra. Um, similar cards are coming up. So it's interesting um, what's going on there. They've asked me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. But there we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, just to let you know, you only read um, the uprights in this particular deck. No reversals, according to um, Colette Baron Reed, who created the actual um, deck there. And I'm just going to give you um, some final cards from the English Magic Tarot. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know regarding their career for November? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We have the Tower. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. And we have the Page of Coins. So beautiful energy. I know you got that tower there, but it is over the Wheel of Fortune. So some event is coming in order to shake up the energy, okay, um, to move you out of that resistance position. You're turning it around, and we have that Knight of Wands there. Okay, so we got the Hangman. So this is Pisces. You're opening your own reading with the, the Hangman. You're getting some sort of new perspective. This is a Piscean card. Um, what we get here is there's wisdom. There's a lot of knowledge here. It's interesting. It's crossed by the Hierophant there. So this is either spiritual wisdom or you're doing uh, online courses. You know, you're really taking assessment of your situation in terms of your career and you've learned a lot. You're looking at how far you've come, where you are now and where you want to go. So this is reflection, but also you may be just shifting after a period of, you know, things were not um, moving. It feels things were very stuck, but this was meant for your growth. Okay, as you can see there, the uh, it's like a timer, and you can see the sand there is all in the bottom. You may have felt stuck. There was growing pains. Look at that foot, it's huge. It feels very much like um, there's not enough space to move, you know, no direction in terms of your career. You're going around in circles, even, you know, stuck in a rut, that kind of energy. You may have even felt a little bit um, like it was painful where you were, um, and you recognize that something needs to give. There needs to be a breakthrough here. Can you see that hand reaching up for the sun? There needs to be a breakthrough for your ascension because you can't stay where you are. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, so you're gaining wisdom either, um, as I said, online courses or you're really seeking some sort of spiritual wisdom in order to help you have that breakthrough. Now, the breakthrough is there. The hand is reaching up for the sun. Don't worry about time limit, okay? Everything happens in divine timing. I know it's turned up there as a, a, a like a timer, um, but they're indicating everything is divine timing. The breakthrough, you can see the skull in the center. That's that death card, okay? Scorpionic energy. So there's big changes. You're releasing things that do not serve you. You've come as far as you can in a certain situation, and now it's like you're breaking out for your ascension and for um, greater knowledge and happiness. Um, it feels like a rebirth there and you've had to push through it. So it's, it, there's been a feeling of being stuck in a rut, especially when we got this will of fortune. Um, it's in the antagonist position. So, um, 
there's an indication here that you may have felt like there was a bit of a run of bad luck, okay? And you were uh, you stuck in a rut going round and round in circles. Things were out of your control. As much as you tried to get everything together, keep momentum, things just kept falling flat. But now here's the turning point, okay? This is... Um, the hand of fate is stepping in in some way to bring you good fortune. So you may feel like um, whatever, whatever it is that you're about to move forward towards, because we've got that new start there, there's new avenues opening up for you, very exciting there. You may feel it's a little bit risky. You may even feel like it takes uh, requires some sort of gamble or a leap of faith. But be rest assured, it is for your ascension and it is for your happiness. You have that sun card there, which is beautiful. So the Wheel of Fortune is definitely on your side. We have a destiny meeting synchronicity here. Lucky breaks are about to present themselves to you on the physical plane to allow you this new start. Again, they're indicating this figure in the center with that uh, serpent that's going round and round and round, stuck. Um, it's like rebirth because in the center there you were doing some learning. So if you felt stuck, it was for a reason. You were being asked to remain in one position to do some spiritual practice perhaps or um, wait for the right time because divine timing plays a huge point in this. But spirit is um, almost like airlifting you out of a situation in order to help you um, ascend here. And um, you'll start to see how things are just working out perfectly for you, where they, before they had not, okay? So whatever gamble or risk you feel like you're taking, it's gonna pay off. You just have to believe to receive is what they're giving me here. Um, because we have the full card and it's in the antagonist position. This is Aries energy, so you're pushing through and you're going after your goals. This is achievement, okay? But it feels like you're starting anew. So you're either walking away from some situation that did not serve you or kept you stuck in the same position, was not making you very happy there. Sorry, just gonna itch my leg, sorry. Um, but it feels very much like you're curious about uh, your career again or a new career path. You're looking at different avenues. Where do you fit in? That's the energy I'm getting. And actually you fit in, in quite a lot of places, Pisces, but it's just about you following your heart and where that leads to you because we have that page of water there. So it's about following your bliss and finances will, will flow from there. But this is an exciting start when you get this. Um, it feels very much like you're jumping from one place to another. Now, there is a wonderful new adventure here, new paths opening, and it feels very much like you're enthusiastic about it. You can't wait to get going, okay? All you need when you've got this card is have faith that anything is possible, okay? So whatever it is you're trying to action, it is possible. Um, yeah, you're launching into something new. It's really, really exciting there. Um, Okay, they're giving me a word and an image, and it's a boy, a B U O Y, a boy that floats in the sea. Um, so perhaps you've been feeling like you've been on choppy seas recently, and it, you know, don't worry, spirit's got your back. It's like this boy, you know, it floats above the surface. So if it's been a rocky time, there is this event that is coming. It's like um, an opportunity that is arising in order um, for you to be more successful and. Um, it feels like float above any kind of like conflict, okay? So I feel like you're rising above it in some way. Um, also they're indicating, um, they're giving me someone has a feather in their wallet or purse or whatever. Uh, there's a feather in your wallet or purse. You keep it, uh, it's something that you keep with you um, that you found. Um, yeah, if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. They're showing me the image there of that, okay? Now we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. So this is about, you know, your expectations, where you were before, where you are now, and where you want to go, okay? So you may be partnering up with a, a new company, or uh, you may be uh, thinking about uh, your partnership in terms of your romantic partnership. I feel like wherever you work, they're giving me two stories. They're giving me two indications here. Now, this is not going to be for everyone because they're saying not for all. Um, they do that when they indicate, uh, you know, this is someone's sideline story. It feels like you may have had some sort of romantic tryst or something with somebody at work. And um, there's a little bit of conflict there because they're showing up as a bit of a knight of wands, okay? Which is um, kind of like a passionate fling kind of energy. And you may be feeling a little bit stuck where you are. You may be thinking... Do I, do I move on? Do I stay where I am because of this? Okay, now it's not for all, um, is what they're indicating. We'll come to that a little bit in a moment. Um, but this feels like you're thinking about 
partnering up with somebody in terms of a higher level of commitment. Now that's in terms of your work situation. So, you know, someone may have offered you a lucrative job opportunity, this wheel of fortune, um, this um, opportunity arises and you're wondering whether you should partner up with them for your highest good. Um, it's about building solid foundations, but it is number five. So it comes after a, a period of conflict. Okay. Cause number five is about conflict, tension, that sort of thing. Um, so I, I do see contracts, I do see contracts here um, being signed um, in good faith. That's what they're giving me in good faith. Um, you're rising up, but they're reminding you uh, during this time of feeling stuck um, that spiritual practice is very important. And I'm not saying go out there and meditate like for five hours or anything like that. 10 minutes out of your day, silence just calms your mind, calms your being. Okay. There's a lot of peace there. You'll find that you actually enjoy it. Well, hopefully you will. Um, and then, you know, as you go further on, you know, weeks, months, et cetera, et cetera, you might um, have 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, that sort of energy. Okay. There's spiritual practice here just to have peace of mind during this um, time. You know, there's a lot going on around the world at the moment. It's intense energy. We are energy. We absorb, especially you Pisces, you know, being, um, a very sort of nurturing, sensitive, emotional um, energy. You know, you absorb a lot of energy, okay? And it, even if it's not to do with you, you're very emphatic, okay? You pick that up and it just, it, it mingles with your vibrations. So remember peace of mind here as you move forward. Um, now we have this five of water, okay? So it feels like you've had to let go of a situation in order to make a new start because the five of water is about walking away from something or, you know, feeling like you, like you were not appreciated in that situation. The five of water is often about allowing um, sort of, um, if you're grieving anything for having to let it go or someone has done something to you, it's like being in the ebb and flow of emotion. It feels like you're letting go and letting it flow, okay? Because there is, sorry, they're just give me something, one moment please. Oh. I've never heard this before, but uh, it was wonderful. Um, I'm going to give it to you. It's um, there is peace in release. There is peace in release, and that's actually very true. That's something I'm going to keep with me. Thank you very much. I'm totally cool. Um, so when we had that five of water, there was some sort of um, loss here that you may have regrets over. Or I feel like whoever uh, walked away from you or, you know, perhaps you've lost a position. Um, I feel like there's regret here. Okay. But it, it feels like some, it had to happen. Um, and it had to happen for your highest good. You may not see that at this moment in time because we often do not see um, when we're in the midst of the storm, we cannot see out of the storm. Okay. So they're indicating there is a wonderful lucky turn of events that's going to shift it all but we have to let go of something in order to gain something. That's the energy I'm getting from this. Now, as we let go, uh, we got the four of water. So beautiful energy here, which is um, there is a new opportunity coming. So they're indicating the same energy as the overall energy from the spread. Um, this is about an abundance of opportunities headed your way. You may not see it right now, but they're about to present themselves. The universe is actually conspiring on your behalf to bring you greater things, things that you deserve. This card normally comes after a disappointment. So it's interesting that the five of water has turned up there. And, uh, you know, you were, when it's in this position, it's about feeling stuck in a rut. You know, things that you may be resisting, you may feel like you've had bad luck and there's change here. Don't resist the changes because there's a wonderful new opportunity coming that's way more exciting than you've had before. Okay. It feels very much like, um, trusting that a uh, spirit has got your back. Um, and that abundance is coming in a variety of forms. All you need to do is have faith. Now, when I check in with this card, okay. <laughs> so they, they just said Eliza Doolittle to me, Eliza Doolittle. So either that has some sort of resonance for you, or that's a nickname for you, or, uh, you know, you call somebody at your work situation that, um, or you've just watched it or something. Um, if it resonates, then there's something in this message for you. Um, okay. They're also give, they're showing me a, a tin of sardines. Okay. They're showing me a tin of sardines and how cramped packed it was. So how stuck you were in a certain situation. And you know, it's good to have a release. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, so this wonderful new opportunity is coming. There's actually more than one. 
I'm just going to check in with that because uh, they just said pull a card, so I will. I'm um, pulling a card on that Four of Water. Can you please clarify the Four of Water for me, uh, for my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know regarding... Oh, that's quite a few. Um, so, um, I'll read those all together for you to clarify it. The Nine of Cups. So, yeah, there we go. We have the Nine of Cups. When it's applied to your career, it's about following your bliss. There is an opportunity, some sort of proposal that actually speaks more to your heart. It's coming towards you, okay? Um, well, also we have that Ten of Cups, and that means there was conflict, okay? There was some sort of conflict where you were, um, and it's also like um, some sort of leave, you know, leaving. You know, you, you're leaving one place because there's a new opportunity. Beautiful energy. Look at that. We got the Ace of Swords, so you're seeing things super clearly now. Um, they're giving me a number, number 15. So around about the 15th of the month, or maybe you live at number 15, or perhaps your work is 15, or you know a new opportunity shows up at number 15. 15 is important, may even be um, someone who is important to use birthday. They just gave me that as an aside. Um, we have that Ace of Swords. So this is clarity, okay? And also communicating new ideas. You're trying to work this out. It's almost like you didn't believe that something was going to come and sort of shake up your energy and bring you something better. This is staircasing, okay? So it feels very much like you're at peace. You're finding the truth of the situation and you're, you're walking away with that knowledge that you deserve better. As you can see, there is ascension here. Spirit is bringing you to ascend. Now we also have that Eight of Pentacles. Okay, oh, so it's the same message, exact same message. That Eight of Pentacles is what you're worth, okay? Eight of Pentacles is mastering your craft, enjoying your employment, doing what you love. Where does this figure put her energy? Where is she shining a light, okay? So what suits you? That's where we're coming back to, Pisces, when we get that. Investing in yourself. And it comes after the Ace of Pentacles. So there was some sort of disappointment here. You had to lose something in order to gain something better. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, so I feel like there's regret here, though. Um, but you are walking into something way more exciting. Um, now... We have that page of water. So this is about following your bliss. It's about a work-life balance as well. So where you were, you're feeling stuck, but you may have felt so much pressure, there was no room to maneuver. You, can, you couldn't move up in the ranks. There was no way to go. And basically, you know when everybody's together and they're feeling low vibe when they're not enjoying their work they kind of bounce energy off each other and there is low work momentum and it feels like yeah people like you know snappy at each other because nobody's completely happy in the situation so you're releasing yourself from that with this page of water and it's a wonderful new beginning of playfulness enjoying um this new start, it actually allows your vibrations to rise. It's very freeing because it also allows your cheerful sort of disposition to sort of come to play, come to life, okay? Because it raises your vibrations. And we have that wonderful sun card. This is abundance, okay? This wonderful opportunity that's coming your way is so successful. It's a joyous outcome. It's the best opportunity for you. And it's also a, a reminder that, you know, your projects, whatever it is that you're um, walking away from now it could be you're walking away from one department into another department in the same place but you're rising up in some way or it's better for your emotional well-being um, also it's uh, it could be that you're partnering up with uh, someone that you're either romantically linked to married to or someone in your soul tribe you're getting a, a business off the ground it's going to be very successful it could also be that um you're having a wonderful new start and leaving your place of work in order to um, find something that's more suited to you, that actually brings you happiness long term. I feel like you're gaining wisdom to think long term for your happiness. And this sun card reminds you that all your relationships are you know, flourishing right now. There's a lot of growth, but also your projects are coming to fruition. A lot of abundance and happiness here for you. Now, I'm just going to give you this side story because they're bringing it to me now, uh, which is somebody had a romantic tryst at their workspace. And uh, you may have thought about um, partnering up with this person in terms of a higher level commitment, but you may be um, worried about them being um, a bit of a player. That's the energy. Um, because this is a career read, I don't really want love to sort of get involved, but I feel like it's connected. So... Um, I'm just going to pull a card on this Knight of Wands um, as a side story for whoever uh, this is affecting. Can you please got? Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know regarding this Knight of Wands? 
also this um, Hierophant card. Can you please clarify this? I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot to gain clarity. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? Ooh, maybe this is um, something that's not really talked about because they're actually reluctant to give me a card on it, just so you're aware. Ooh, there it is. We've got a Wheel of Fortune again. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Okay, so there is a turning point here. Um, oh, well, we got the turning point. So um, this is definitely a shift in uh, an energy for the better. There's actually love here. Okay, um, and we have that Ace of Cups. So someone is going to offer you some sort of romantic proposal as well in this situation. Um, I feel like you're not really believing in yourself there with that uh, Queen of Wands. Um, there's a little bit of insecurity here, Pisces. You're not sure if this person really has feelings for you, but actually the love is there, just so you're aware. This person may have a water placement as well, or a Leo, um, just so you're aware there. Seven of Wands, now Seven of Wands in the reverse, don't quit on this too soon, okay? Um, because uh, I feel it has longevity. It's just, this person's a little bit slow. They take their time, okay? So if you're feeling this person is a bit of a player, they're indicating that this can come to fruition if you want it to, uh, but know that you have to have a little bit of patience. Yes, it's frustrating, uh, but it looks like it will turn around. So um, just that's obviously for somebody wondering about that. Now, in terms of career, this new opportunity that's coming your way, um, it feels very much like um, something that speaks to you creatively. It allows you to be free. It allows you a little bit more goal orientation. It feels like you're excited again because wands, you know, they talk about passion and the Knight of Wands often has like a wonderful creative project and then goes on to the next project. It's very exciting, day-to-day -day kind of um, makes them want to get out in the, in the morning to achieve, okay? So it's that kind of energy. Uh, you're also, um, they're indicating there's stepping stones here. Stepping stones. This is you rising to your next, into the next, into the next. So there is a lot of um, forward motion here, a lot of passion, um, but there's stepping stones. They really want to highlight um, that horse is on a stepping stone. Can you see all those little red stepping stones there? So this is your ascension. So it's going to be very exciting for you. And also they're giving me the word love. So it is something that you love doing. You're following your heart, which is wonderful, which sets your soul on fire with that passion. But it comes after a bit of a rocky time. That's the indication. Now we have that tower card. A lot of people get a little bit nervous with change. So um, yes, it is over that five of water. Um, and it, uh, which reveals that you're having to let go of something in order to get something better. Um, there is a shift here. There is change afoot. Um, the Wheel of Fortune crossing the whole lot means it's for the better, okay? With the Tower card as well, Tower often just means change. Spirit has recognized that you're at a stalemate. Can you see that? The two are just looking at each other just like, what? What? I don't know. And they're kind of just there thinking, what's the next move? And you may know the next move, Pisces, but you may be resisting it because it's in the resistance position. So the tower comes along to send a lightning bolt to make change happen in divine timing. So this opportunity or this change that happens, it was meant to. So don't fight it um, because it's, it's crossed by the Seven of Swords there. Crossed by the Seven of Swords in reverse, um, which means there is a wonderful um, peace that is coming after this. They're also giving me an indication um, that... Someone was a little bit verbally unkind in this situation. Someone is coming to make some sort of apology in this situation. Um, I think I'm going to have to pull a card on that too, actually, because um, they're indicating, I mean, this is a card of making amends. It's almost like I feel like you're uh, the universe is making amends with you um, because you feel like you're being punished uh, in some way that you're having a bit of a bad run of luck. But they're actually indicating a person as well. So I'm just going to pull a card on that. There it is. How would you like to receive? Thank you. High Priestess. The Hermit in reverse. Mm, so it could be Virgo because we got two Virgo cards there. Some with a Virgo placement. Not very uh, nice there. Uh, someone who... Thank you so much. I'm totally grateful. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So they're indicating someone who may have had a, a Virgo placement. Um, the Hermit in reverse, this is an indication that um, it's like repeating old mistakes, being stuck, okay? It feels very much like uh, this person... 
you know deep down in your intuition that this person did not invest fully in you. So if you had a boss um, or someone who was on a project with you in some way was related to your career path, it feels like they did not invest fully in you. Uh, they may have been a, a little bit lazy even and stubborn and not wor working for the situation, which meant that you had to take um, all the onus on you to do all the work. Now you know, they said, as soon as this card came up, you knew who this person was. Your intuition tells you immediately who this person is that's not investing in the um, arena of your work situation and um, they keep making the same mistakes, okay? They, they keep issuing the same trouble. They're not spiritually aligned and we got the two of wands in the reverse. So this person doesn't, they've got small minded thinking and it feels like um, even if you try and make it work with this person, it falls apart. You're just waiting for the right opportunity to just get the hell out of there. That's the energy that I'm getting with that. Okay. So, um, but as you can see, look at the ascension. We have the five of swords in the reverse. Beautiful energy. Okay. This is peace. I feel like you knew that this person was underhanded or this situation was in some way, um, a little bit unfair. Um, when we get this, there's peace, there's harmony, there is success in this, but also about speaking your truth. Uh, it feels like your new start, you're speaking up for yourself, but also you're going after the truth of the situation. The swords are pointed up, okay? So there is a conversation that is to be had here that brings out the truth of the situation. Someone is going to be issuing you an apology for something and wants to make amends with you. Um, and you got that page of coins. It comes right on time. Page of coins is a new job opportunity. Capricorn energy. So um, have patience because there is either a new job, a uh, raise, promotion, some sort of financial news coming your way that is a wonderful new investment. It is something that is, it's like you're bucking the trends, okay? Also, I feel like it's, it's a solid amount of money that actually leads to a lot of growth here. And um, it sets you free. There's an energy of sets you free. They're actually showing me this horse, because uh, I get visions. Um, they're showing me this horse. It's not this horse in particular. It's a black horse, so beautiful. Um, and it's actually bucking its legs and it's kicking something out of the way. Something physically out of the way. So I feel like you win this situation by kicking something to the curb. Now that's either a person, a relationship there, because you know Scorpio season is often about shedding relationships that no longer serve us and looking intensely at how things are working within our um, relationships at work and you know in romance, all of those things. Um, so I feel like you're kicking something to the curb in order to go for something better, okay? So wonderful opportunity coming your way. The full card, the sun card, I mean, it's so exciting. Now I'm just gonna get any final Messages, Pisces. Okay, wow. Straight away, we have. Um, oh, they said I'm not done yet. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. So there is some news coming your way that's actually going to happen quite quickly um, in terms of your job opportunity. Mm. So, where would you? Thank you. Um, sorry, I've just said mmm because we also got the judgment in reverse. So you're stuck for quite a while and we're not are wondering what is the right moment to walk through that door, but you've been maybe denying yourself change. Uh, we have that eight of wands in the upright, so this suggests there's some sort of news coming, and again, they're giving me the number 15, okay? So uh, in and around the 15th, there is some solid news that is actually very successful. It changes everything. There's quick changes with this, okay? So just be ready when you have that eight of wands. It's like gathering momentum. You're celebrating um, swift changes, so there's transformation here. But also you could be on the move. This is a travel card, so you may be relocating to another department or uh, another business, another company. Uh, you could be even relocating house or um, you know, going to another state in order to, for your job or even we haven't got the world card so perhaps you are emigrating but that it hasn't shown up just yet but they've asked me to go again so I will. Uh, now we also have that six of swords, a second card of relocation or transition okay so this is a necessary transition. As you can see the wheel of fortune crossed by that tower card this was divine timing it's meant to happen this surprise change was meant to happen for your ascension. The six of swords often brings you can see here it's like a, a cross bridge there between um, something, it feels like the wind's blowing in a certain direction. You know when it's, 
you're going with the flow. It's like you're going with the wind. Wherever it blows, you're going in that direction because Spirit says that is the right way forward, okay? It's necessary. Um, and there's two butterflies here. And there's a lot of stars. So they're indicating the stars are aligning for your ascension, your success, but change must happen. Um, so don't try and fight it. Um, it is going to go your way. Um, it's often, the Six of Swords often comes when you're in choppy waters and Spirit comes to guide you out of those choppy waters into something calmer, okay, that is more peaceful. Now we have the judgment in reverse. So you may have been denying this change for quite some time or had a fear of the change. They're indicating you're getting the new perspective. So you're thinking about when is the right opportunity to walk through those doors. But also, you may feel like you've had a bit of a lack of judgment in a situation in terms of whoever this person was that may have been a bit underhanded. I feel like you, you feel like you trusted this person at first and it feels like you may have thought you got it wrong, okay? Now, I'm going to pull a card room because I don't feel like you got it wrong. I felt like this person, um, they did what they had to do. Now, that doesn't really um, help you, Pisces, and it still feels a little bit like they withheld information from you in some way, but I feel like this person was pushed into doing it. I don't know if that resonates in some way. That's the energy I'm um, picking up. I will pull a card on that in a moment, but they've told me I'm not finished with this deck, so I'm going to go on. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know in terms of their career? We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so Queen of Swords is, uh, you know, Libra card, balance, harmony, but you're being self-sufficient. You're leading with total honesty here, okay? And as you can see, look at that. It feels like this looming figure they're indicating is someone who didn't give you all of the information. It feels like this person was tight-lipped for a reason. They were made to do it. Okay, as you can see, this um, figure here, they're, they're actually holding um, that beak shut with that um, material. So I feel like whoever did this or you know didn't tell you about the situation, um, I feel like their hands were tied, as it were, and they had to give it to you how they were given it. So um, this person may have a Libra placement. Um, they wanted to do what was fair, but you're going after the truth now. You're finding out ooh, that truth. Knight of Pentacles. It's about this job opportunity. Maybe you went for some sort of um, job opportunity in your current space, and it was denied to you. Okay, so we have this Knight of Pentacles showing up again. There was an indication that this person is lazy, does not work, is very stubborn in their energy, but somehow their hands were tied with the situation. Perhaps even your hands were tied with the situation. You couldn't fully speak up, but you're observing the situation and gaining the truth, and then uh, you're turning it around, okay? Now, we do have the death card as well in the reverse. It suggests there is a fighting of the change, okay? So you may have felt like your hope was destroyed in the situation, but there was also stagnation, and you felt stuck. Okay, it is painful because we do have that three of swords as well. And when it's painful, it's hard to it's hard to walk away from those emotions. So something has caused this pain, this loss. So you may have lost, you know, your job through redundancy or something like that or unfair means. And but don't worry because you're turning it around. Uh, there is better coming for you. That's the uh, they said I'm not finished. One more from this deck. So. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. You said one more. Could you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Three of Wands. Three of Wands is you moving forward, okay? This is expansion. Um, this is a celebration. Uh, Three of Wands is a very, um, how can I put that, an expansion of opportunities coming your way. Creative uh, abundance is coming for you to reach your goals. It's achievement when you get this card. You're on the right path when you get this card. There is an abundance of opportunities before you. You just need to trust in the universe and trust in yourself. You know, you got the smarts, you got the talent, you got the emotional skills, you know, you got uh, the intelligence, you got it all inside you. You've got everything you need. All you need to do is believe. Have confidence in yourself. You make good choices. Okay, just trust in your intuition. It will never lead you astray. When you get this card, there is harmony. There is peace. Okay, now I'm just going to pull a card on uh, that, as I said. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Bright Angels. Can you please uh, clarify this Judgment card and Queen of Swords? I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. Five of Pentacles, same message. Yeah. Um, so 
they're indicating, even if you look up these cards, they're giving the exact same message. Look up the meanings of them. The Five of Pentacles, you know, you had to abandon some sort of situation. There is loss. You're walking away from something. You had to lose something for a new start to gain something, okay? Um, now, you may have felt like um, this was a hopeless situation, but actually it's a beautiful new start. So they're ending on the new start just like in the overall energy, the full star, uh, full card is a new start, a new beginning in a more successful area, okay? So you're moving on definitely uh, for something more successful. They just said one more. Uh, I don't want to keep you here all day, my beautiful Pisces, but I have to obey um, what they were giving me, the moon. It all comes with, there's a lot of clarity here. It comes with um, a reveal, okay? There is a reveal. You're gaining this knowledge, just like the hangman. You're getting a new perspective of the situation of this person, this Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? This is, there was some sort of opportunity either taken away from you, um, you know, or um, that you've had to walk away from, okay? Or because it feels very much like there was an unrealistic expectation of you to do all of the work, do everything, and you've had to walk away from it, or it was denied to you, and you've had to find a different route, you've had to take a new start. So unusual they want to go again no nope. thank you so much for guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful pisces what do they need to know oh that was uh i did not see that coming maybe that's the energy uh you did not see that coming pisces so we have the five of swords so this is about um there was something underhanded, yes, uh, someone withheld information, but also there may be like a bully type energy. Also, they're indicating with this about how you talk to yourself, Pisces. Don't beat yourself up about the situation. I don't feel like you want to, but I feel like sometimes there's a little bit of doubt that creeps in there for you. And um, you may be saying, um, well, I'm not surprised this happened and maybe I won't find something new or maybe, you know, things won't change for the better. They want you to turn that around because they're indicating, you know, self-talk, negative talk, that's only leading you to hurt yourself. If someone turned around to you, Pisces, and said, you can't do that, you're, you're not good enough to do that, you'd say, excuse me? Hell no, I can't, I can do that. How dare you talk to me like that? So Spirit is saying, why do you allow yourself to talk to you like that? Why do you allow you to say you can't do something or that you're not good enough or any of those things? So don't doubt yourself. Spirit made you perfectly the way you are. And we have that Ace of Swords in the reverse, Whatever was, um, you know, blocked from you, this dishonesty or this underhand, uh, underhandedness this, um, was meant for a reason. You were blocked from this for a reason, okay? And But now you're seeing the truth of the situation with that moon card. And we have the King of Wands in the reverse. So they're indicating some sort of boss type figure that was, um, how can I put that? A bit of a bully. Or uh, I feel like it's an overall, I feel like there's two people here. This is Aries energy. This is Libra energy. I feel like someone like who was abusing their power has made this person you trusted keep their mouth shut in some way about a situation or maybe even tried to put that on you as well, make you stay silent, but you're not doing it anymore. You're off to better things. Okay. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, um, we will leave it there. As they said, uh, close, so I am. I'm just going to give you um, A Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein as a final message. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please? Thank you so much. We have, when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Okay, so there's a lot of peace and mindfulness uh, present in this reading. Um, you are going through... A difficult time but it's coming out on top okay I feel like as you shifted from November uh, October into November you're gaining some wisdom there is this reveal you're seeing things in a different mindset and fortune is coming your way 15th they keep saying 15 so it's got to be uh, I'm, I'm getting an energy that it is a date that's around about the shift okay so um, when you are in alignment with love so whenever you love what you do lead with your heart the universe, uh, peace cannot be disrupted, okay? Just so you're aware. Now, I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for your guys, for an angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay. Um, so, they've given me this tree, but as I was picking it out, they were giving me a name. I don't often get a name, but they give me the name Joe. And I know Joe could be anybody. There's a lot of people out there called Joe. Um... 
but that's what they gave me so I can only give you what they uh, gave me um, we also we have this tree of knowledge interesting because that's what open your card the hangman is uh, the hangman often puts themselves on the tree of knowledge to get a different perspective in the situation in order to affect growth and change okay so that tree you're growing as a result you're expanding financially you're also growing so there's a wonderful solid opportunity because the tree is solid and um, this will branch off into wonderful exciting moments um, for your ascension in terms of your career because they're again showing me those stepping stones okay um, okay they're indicating um, that someone found a red stone and they thought it was really unusual so they took it with them I can't see where they're putting it they're just looking at it in their hand going oh um, if that's you then there's something in this message for you it's a red stone it is quite unusual actually um, yeah so where would you like of course they want on the hangman okay um, so there is a wonderful opportunity coming for you um, have faith that all will be well the shift happens around about the mid of November okay my beautiful Pisces I'll leave it there I hope something resonated in this reading for you if it did please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press the little bell apparently it's important it lets you know when I update my next message and it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me okay good luck in this situation my beautiful Pisces love and light